know these niggas and these bitches, they be plotting on me. I miss my dog, pray to God that he watch over me. I know these streets don't give a fuck about a nigga like me. I know What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Hoodfax TV, and I'm back with another one, man. And today we got a crazy story, man. Today's story is about a guy that killed three people that he's supposed to love. He killed his mom, his ex, and his cousin, all women. Um, what a sad, sad, sad day in the world. You dig what I'm saying? It's too much killing going on for sure. We got to start loving each other, man. If you don't know, let me be the first to tell you God is love. You know what I'm saying? So love each other as you want somebody to love you. You dig what I'm saying? And I know it's higher nowadays because the world is, is just is just nuts. The things that they put in front of our eyes is just... um. A lot of people is hypnotized by fame and fortune. So there's a lot going on. You dig what I'm saying? Um, I'm not about to talk y'all ear off, man. I just really wanted to get in this clip, man. And send my condolences out to the family as well, man. May all three of them young ladies um, rest in peace. Um, like I said before, it's a sad day, man. And this guy right here, um, he's going as well, too. Um, don't get it twisted. He got into a shootout with the police as well. The police took him out. So, um... Mental health is crazy. That's all I can say, man. Mental health is a very, very big issue in the black community as as well because we don't go for help. You dig what I'm saying? We think we can sit and cope with it, but we can't. But um, I'm about to get into this video, man, and let you guys see the news clipping. And you guys drop down in the comments your thoughts. I'm not going to hold y'all up. Y'all already know my motto, man. But if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Please leave a comment. Please hit that like button because it's helped your boy out a lot. Let's start to get this to 50 likes or something like that. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not asking for much. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get to this video. Wait. Where three women were killed in a triple shooting this is over in Manatee County, not far from the Tampa St. Petersburg area. And those killed include the mother and cousin of the man deputies believe pulled the trigger. This all happening overnight, and the Manatee County Sheriff is joining now to give an update. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, bef before I get started, just wanted to say that uh, our thoughts and our prayers go out to the families uh, of the victims of this tragic event. Uh, we, we pray that, uh, uh, that God watches over them during this very, very tragic time. Just want to try to give you a timeline of the events that took place last night. And before I get started, really want to show you the killer himself, the one that is responsible for three homicides in Manatee County last night. His name is Javante Bryce. He is 28 years of age. He is. Yo, I don't mean to stop it, but if you can just look at him, man, he looked like he have a mental health issue. You know what I'm saying? He haven't had a, a decent haircut. He got his face is just is like you see what I'm saying like when a person stop take care of themselves man it's something usually wrong with them you dig what I'm saying but let's get back into it the one that went on a killing spree last night in Manatee County so we we believe initially that this all, all started sometime before nine o'clock when Mr. Bryce traveled to the Palmetto Trace apartments in Palmetto, in the city of Palmetto. Inside one of those apartments was his sister and a mother of one of the many children that Mr. Bryce has. When he walked into the apartment, he looked at the ex-girlfriend and said, I have to kill you. Whoa. Somehow, the sister was able to talk him down and talk him out of him shooting this ex-girlfriend. Uh, she later told investigators that he was acting very strange, not really sure what was going on with him. At 9.17 p.m., we know that he traveled to the Motel 6 uh, in East Bradenton, 
Inside one of those rooms was his mother, his mother's boyfriend, and two young juvenile sisters. He walked into that hotel room, looked at the mother and said, I'm sorry. She asked, what did you do? And he shoots her three times in front of the boyfriend and these two innocent young juveniles. Yo, this is, cr yo, listen, man, this is bugged out. Like, if that's not mental health, that's crazy. Something clicked in his mind. He told him to kill all the people, that, all the women that he loved. Like, this is, this is retarded. In front of your brother and sister, your little brother and sister, she already going through a hard time. She living in a hotel. Like, why are you? He then travels into Palmetto to the 900 block of 26th Street East. One of his cousins was at a, a cookout. Uh, at this residence, she's starting to get into her vehicle to leave. He then shoots her at that location. She later dies about an hour after this shooting at, at a local hospital. We then have him traveling into the city of Bradenton over the Green Bridge. And at roughly 10.04 p.m., he travels to a location in the city of Bradenton, the 4800 block of 51st Street East. This is a, a, a residence where another ex-girlfriend lives and her now new uh, partner. He does not shoot or kill the girlfriend, but he shoots and kills the new partner. So at this point, we now have three homicide scenes and also an ag assault scene at Palmetto Trace. Investigators are constantly getting information. We know right away that the suspect is Javante Bryce. The family has been very cooperative. They tell us exactly what's going on. We find out that he possibly has another ex-girlfriend in the state of Georgia and that he's now traveling to that state to kill her. So let me get this right before we get, even get into this video even a little bit more. So he's killing all the women that he loved. And he's sparing some and killing they, they and trying to kill their other partner that they're with. So he got three bodies, one assault, and he on his way to go kill somebody else or harm somebody else. And y'all telling me this is not mental health or he's not on some type of drugs, meth, or you tell some type of fentanyl or some type of drugs. Like this is this is really what's going on in the world, man. People was on this meth, they on these pills, they on these uh um uh, uh, uh hallucinating drugs, and they're losing their mind, literally. It's, it's crazy that he just really went out there and killed his mom now in front of his kids. Now, that's terrible. He could never, like, I don't understand that. I don't understand. I really don't understand any of it. But I'm just saying, like, what possesses you to do that if it's not drugs? Because a clear mind is not going to do no stuff like that. Mental health issues and drugs together do not help. And like I said before, in the black community, we do not go get help. A lot of us can't even afford dental work. So imagine trying to go play, pay for a shrink or something like that or somebody to talk to. That's, that's impossible. So a lot of people keep it in. I'm not just saying this in a black community, but I just, I'm just speaking on what I know and how my family was raised. I know a lot of my family members have mental health issues or, or, or be going through trauma, and they need somebody to talk to. You get what I'm saying? Let's get back to this video. We put out a statewide bolo. Luckily, uh, sheriff deputies with the Hamilton, ha Hamilton County Sheriff's Office spots the vehicle that Mr. Bryce is driving. Uh, they stop him. He immediately gets out of the car and starts firing upon them. They return fire, shooting and killing him there in Hamilton County. And that's where everything ends. I can't really go into all the details. I have talked to uh, 
of Sheriff Reed out of Hamilton County to make sure that those deputies are okay. They are, they're fine. Uh, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement will be investigating that deputy involved shooting there in Hamilton County. Uh, but that's what we know right now. We don't know a motive, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know what set uh, this man off. We don't know why he chose to, to kill his, his loved ones. Um, and we may never know, but we're going to continue to investigate. It's a very fluid and active investigation, and we're trying to get all the answers um, to the questions that we all have. Uh, so that's where we're at right now, um, and I'll, I'll take any questions that you, that you may have. Sheriff, you spoke with some witnesses at the motel. They said... All right, man, we're not going to get into the question and, 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 and all that. But, um, yeah, man, this guy right here, he just he flipped out, man, and start, you know, taking out his loved ones. And I just think that's, you know what I'm saying? I just I, honestly, man, I just think that sometimes people really need to talk. They need to talk to people, man. Because keeping stuff in like that, man, is going to do nothing but but make it worse, especially if you're doing drugs, man. And I, I like I don't know what his case was. I, I'm just saying in general. You guys just leave down in the comment what you guys think, you know what I'm saying, and let me know, man. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'm lost to words. You see, I keep stuttering over my words. I really lost the words. I feel sorry for the family, man. Once again, I send my condolences to the family. And um, I'm up out of here, man. Love your loved ones, man. Like I said before, man, God is love, man. And we up out of here, man. Hood Facts TV, gang.